Hey. Oh, Joey, uh, were you in our room last night? No. I was told the name of the movie would not appear on the bill. Here's a copy of your bill. Oh, thanks. Mm. Champagne, strawberries. Oh, my God. I can't believe Chandler ordered porn on our wedding night. Yeah, that's sad. Meshuganat? Hey. Hey, Joey, what would you do if someone that you slept with told you that she was pregnant? Who called here? Did she sound blonde? Oh. Huh? Did, did, did she have an accent? I gotta make a call. She'd have never walked into that sunglass hut. Huh? Oh, Monica, it's Joey. Listen, uh, Phoebe and I smell gas coming from your apartment. What? Are you serious? Joey smells gas. What else is new? Yeah, and we'd go check it out, but you took away our keys. Well, do something. Get in there. How? Uh, I, I guess I could break down your door. Yeah, do that. A and you won't blame us for any damage? No. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll break it down. <laughs> okay, how are you doing it? Break it down the door. <laughs> okay, we're in. <laughs> oh, Ross. Yeah, I know, but hey, in my defense, I, I just found out that condoms are only like 97% effective. What? <laughs> I gotta go find her. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hold on. Are you serious? So you just like 3% of the time, they don't even work? <laughs> huh? They should put that on the box. <laughs> Evidently, they do. What? <laughs> well, I'll be. I still don't get why Greg and Ginny would give us a fake number. You know, if they knew what they were doing, they probably didn't give you real names either. OK. <laughs> Maybe people give out fake numbers, but they don't give out fake names. Oh, yeah? Hi, Ken Adams. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Regina Falange. <laughs> what are you talking about? You use the Europe story. That's the magic story you use when you want to have sex. <laughs> How do you know about that story? How do you know about that story? <laughs> Some guy. Some guy. No, no. She told me that his name was Ken Adams. Ken Adams. Hey. You didn't dress up either. Yes, I did. I'm Chandler. <laughs> Dude, what happened? How is that me? Okay. I'm Chandler. Wow! Oh, that is you! <laughs> when have I ever done that? When have I ever done that? Wow! <laughs> Spudnik. Spudnik. <laughs> wow, I don't have the worst costume anymore. <laughs> hey, all right, Ross came as duty. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not duty. No, space duty. <laughs> okay, I'm Spudnik. You know, like Sputnik. What's a Sputnik duty, man? <laughs> but Joey, I have to go. There's no room for a baby here. No room. It's a baby. It's like this big. <laughs> you, know, you, 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 you can put it over here. <laughs> or, or we can put it right here. Oh, it's cute, right? Oh, oh, oh. Put it over here. You wouldn't even notice it. Where's the baby? Oh, it's right over here. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh, my God. And you gave the baby Hugsy. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that, that, that's really just to show where the baby would go. You know, why don't I hold on to him so there's no confusion? <laughs> Well, you have to be honest with her. Otherwise, you may think that you're going down the same path, but you're really going down different ones. I'm going to take that book, and I'm going to beat you to death with it. <laughs> so, you uh, nervous about getting married? 
What are you doing? Look, let's pretend it's a real bachelor party, okay? You know, before your wedding. It'll be more fun. All right. I can't believe tomorrow's the big day. <laughs> well, how's it feel knowing you're never gonna be with another woman again, huh? Knowing you're gonna have to wake up to the same face every day <laughs> until you finally have the sweet release of death. Okay, also, just so you know, I'm not gonna make a turkey this year. What? Well, Phoebe doesn't eat turkey. Phoebe? Turkeys are beautiful, intelligent animals. No, they're not. They're ugly and stupid and delicious. <laughs> I mean, Thanksgiving with no turkey is like, like, Fourth of July with no apple pie. Or, or Friday with no two pizzas. <laughs> All right, fine if it means that much to you, but just, there's gonna be a ton left over. No, no, there won't. I promise I will finish that turkey. All right, you're telling me you can eat almost an entire turkey in one sitting? That's right. Because I'm a Tribbiani. <laughs> and this is what we do. I mean, we may not be great thinkers or, or world leaders. We don't read a lot or run very fast, but damn it, we can eat! Hey, what are you doing? You gotta save room. You've got almost an entire turkey to eat. Let me explain to you how the human body works. <laughs> I have to warm up my stomach first. Eating chips is like stretching. <laughs> That's it? Even if nobody helps me, I can eat that, no problem. At least give me a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chandler's chicken. <laughs> this is the turkey. How big is that? It's about 19 pounds. It's like me when I was born. <sighs> you are my Everest. Joe, well, you don't have to finish that. Oh, yes, I do. Otherwise, what's next? You know, today I'm just a guy who can't finish a turkey, but tomorrow I'm the guy who eats half a power bar, wraps up the rest, and puts it in the fridge? No. No, I just... I just, I just gotta change my pants. What was I thinking? Jeans have no give. <laughs> All right, where's that turkey? Jelly, those are my maternity pants. No, no, these are my Thanksgiving pants. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm done. Whew. Oh. Oh, here come the meat sweats. <laughs> Who did this to you? Bobby Corso. But he's a real nice guy. I like him a lot. He's real funny. You got pregnant for funny? <laughs> Dina, <laughs> if he's funny, laugh! <laughs> I'll be back in a little while. You stay here. Why? Where you going? I can't look at you right now. <sighs> wow. I know. In my spare time, I uh, read to the blind. And I'm also a mento for kids. A mento? You know, a mento, a role model. A mento. Right. Like the candy? As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> Let Flay bamboozled. Chandler, you'll go first. What is the capital of Colombia? Bogota. It's Bogota, but close enough. <laughs> Well, what's complicated? You spin the wheel of mayhem to go up the ladder of chance, you go past the mud hut, through the rainbow ring to get to the golden monkey, you yank his tail, and boom, you're in Paradise Pond. <laughs> yeah, all that's gone. Um, it's basically just a simple question and answer game now. Well, what's fun about that? <laughs> you expect me to be the host of a boring game with just people standing around answering questions? Well, there'll be women in bikinis holding up the scores. Let's play bamboozle! <laughs> Two, four, six, one million. Yep, you got them all. Man, this is bad. And I've had my share of bad reviews. I still remember my first good one, though. Everything else in this production of Our Town was simply terrible. Joey Tribbiani was abysmal. How does he write? Am I really, am I oh, awful? Good. No. Oh, hey, hey, Monica, you listen to me, okay? And I'm not just saying this because I'm your friend. I'm saying it because it's the truth. Your food is abysmal. Boom! I better get to my movie. Oh, yeah. oh. You know, if I'm going to the movie and you're going to the movie, why don't we just go together? <laughs> uh, how's that for data reconfiguration, huh, Chan? 
I think I know who you're talking about. Oh, yay! Great! Okay, what room number is he in? I'm sorry. Patient information is confidential. No, no, oh, no I'm not going to bother him or anything. We were talking earlier. Ma'am, and... I'm sorry. That information is restricted to hospital staff. Uh, she's with me, Dr. Drake Ramore. <laughs> Dr. Drake who? Ramore. It's Portuguese. <laughs> we need that information. I'm a doctor. A doctor at this hospital? Damn it, woman, we're losing precious time. <laughs> Now, do you want this man's blood on your head? Hands. Hands. It is absolutely essential that you tell me what room the man my assistant described is staying in. He's a patient of mine. I've been treating him for years. He's in room 816. 816. Thank you. Thank you. And what is his name? No. Hi. I'm Dr. Drake Ramore. I have a few routine questions I need to ask you. Really? I've been dealing with Dr. Wells. I know. But I'm a neurologist, and just to be on the safe side, Dr. Wells wanted a more comprehensive overview of your status, so he sent me. <laughs> Dr. Wells is a woman. <laughs> that was a test. Good response. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, uh, full name? Clifford Burnett. Date of birth? November 16th, 1968. Age? <laughs> Can't you figure that out based on my date of birth? I'm a doctor, Cliff, not a mathematician. <laughs> 33. Okay. I thought I knew who the enemy was, but it was you all along. Okay, this is it. You led them right. It's my big fight scene coming up. Go ahead. Try it again. <laughs> I'm fighting for every man. Hey! Sleeping Beauty! Where have you been? I tried to call you. I want to talk to you. I still feel so bad. Oh, no. Were you upset? Did you lose sleep? You don't owe me anything. I don't want your money. Ah, 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 we're doing this. Okay, now you got me my first set of headshots, right? How much were those? I don't know, uh, $500. Okay, $500. What else? Well, then there was the second set, the infamous booger headshots. <laughs> okay, so that's another 500. That's 500, 500. That's... <laughs> you want a calculator? Please. <laughs> Here. What else? Well, uh, there's acting classes, stage combat classes, tap classes. Which we're still keeping under our hats. Uh, then there was that dialect coach who helped you with the play where you needed a southern accent, which, after 20 hours of lessons, still came out Jamaican. What the hell are you talking about? The South will rise again, man. <laughs> yes, money well spent. <laughs> Okay, what else? Rent. Okay, uh, two, three years of rent, utilities, food. Okay, okay. So I'm writing you a check for... So you fell asleep during my movie. <laughs> Big deal, right? <laughs> How do you clear this thing? <laughs> I do, too, think about the consequences of my decisions. <laughs> but what gives you the right to... Go to hell! <laughs> Stupid guy on my phone. <laughs> Hey, why do you think she won't take my breast? It's all right, honey. Take some babies a while to get it, but don't worry. It'll happen. Yowza. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sweetie, you can do it. Just open up and put it in your mouth. Dear Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. What were you saying? Uh, uh, yeah, look, I, I think that... Oh, because look, she's pulling away again. Do you think my nipples are too big for her mouth? <laughs> Scared. Doesn't she look scared? You, you know, I don't really know her. <laughs> Why don't we try massaging the breast to stimulate the flow? Okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is so frustrating. Why doesn't she want my breast? I don't know. Maybe she's crazy. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm going to take off. I just want to say goodbye. Rachel said she'd marry you? 
This isn't the right room. Sorry, folks. So tell me something about my guy. No. Come on, give me something. What's his name? Mike. Mike? Yeah. Okay, what's his last name? Damn it, is there no mystery left in romance anymore? <laughs> Mike! Yeah? Okay. Hot. Excuse me? Uh, I, uh, I said that I think you're hot. And uh, now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> oh, I uh, thought you said hi. That would have been better. I'll try that. Hi, I'm Joey. I'm Haley. Oh. Uh, look, I don't normally ask out women that I meet in coffee houses. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, hey, thanks again for letting me have that last piece of cake at the restaurant. <laughs> You're welcome again. Hmm. I'm gonna go make some coffee. Can I get you anything? Uh, do you have any cake? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is going pretty good. Dinner was nice. We got a lot in common. Ooh, Victoria's Secret. Huh. We even like the same books. <laughs> oh, there's a scary painting. Wait a minute. I think I've been scared by that painting before. You know what? This whole place looks familiar. I have definitely been in this apartment. I know I've seen this weird plant before. Ow! It did that the last time. <laughs> oh my God. I've gone out with this girl before. Yeah, we had sex on this couch. And then on that chair, and... No? No, we didn't do it here. Which is weird, because it seems like a perfectly good place. Ow, that's why. <laughs> Halfway through our date, I realized I already slept with her. So basically, you've slept with all the women in New York, and now you're just going around again? Yeah, but that's not even the weird part. I don't think she remembered sleeping with me. Like, you don't remember sleeping with her. Yeah, but she should remember sleeping with me. I am very memorable. <laughs> you guys know. Well, how do we know? We've never slept with you. And whose fault is that? <laughs> how about this? Another table leaves. Right? But there's still some food left on their plates. Okay, what's the restaurant's policy about people eating that? It's frowned upon. But it happens. <laughs> All right, I gotta go to the bathroom. No, you can't go. No, 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 I can't, I can't hold this table on my own. If they ask me to move, I'll cave. Well, if you ask me to stay, I'll pee. <laughs> Finally, you guys made it. Keeps, <laughs> who the hell? Ah! Oh. Hey. <laughs> Rachel and I hired a male nanny. Really? Guys do that? That's weird. Thank you. Yeah, that's like a woman wanting to be a... A what? A what? What's the end of that sentence? Yes, what is the end of that sentence? Uh, a penis model. <laughs> Great, is really good this year. Man, those horses can crap. <laughs> Next up is a marching band from Muskogee, Oklahoma. Muskogee? That's like four hours from Tulsa. And here's the flow with the stars of the popular daytime soap, Days of Our Lives. Oh my god! Aren't you one of the stars of the popular daytime soap, Days of Our Lives? Yeah! I forgot I'm supposed to be there. I can't believe I forgot. I usually write stuff like this down on my arm. Oh! Stupid long sleeves. Joey. What? 
Hey, Joe. Dude, come home. <laughs> what? Why? Come home. Look, I, I, I can't. What's going on? I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, I think Monica's cheating on you. I told you you shouldn't have married someone so much hotter than you. <laughs> All right, look, if you can't come home and deal with this, then I'm gonna. No! I just heard him. Can you hear him now? No. All right, I'm going in. No, wait! I heard him again! All right, look, just stay there. I'm coming home. Okay, great. I'll see you when you get here. I'm gonna wait out in the hall in case the dude comes out. Is that really necessary? Absolutely. You'd do it for me. Not that you ever have to, because I know how to keep my women satisfied. <laughs> man in here? How dare you accuse me of that? All right, all right. Then maybe you won't mind if me and my friend take a look around, huh? What's he doing? I arranged some pillows on the bed to look like a guy. Bedroom's clear. Although you might need some new pillows. All right, well, I'll check the guest room. Why do I smell men's cologne? I think that's you. Hey. Hi. So, did you, uh, did you tell Ross? Well, I tried, but then he had a shampoo-related emergency. So I guess now it's your turn again. No, 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 I think it's better if you tell him. You know, it's easier for a woman. That way, you know, if he gets mad, all you have to do is go, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Really? Like you have a routine? No, 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 no. See, each woman is different. You have to appreciate their uniqueness. Really? No, I do six things. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, this is romantic. Uh. I'm sorry, this has never happened to me before. I'm an expert at taking off bras. I could do it with one hand. I could do it with my eyes closed. One time, I just looked at one, and it popped open. Well, hey, there's Uncle Joey. Hey. hey, say something to Emma on her 18th birthday. 18, huh? Uh, Joey, no! <laughs> what, what? It's for her hot friends. When they see this, you'll be 52. And starting to think about settling down. <laughs> well, that's it. He's the last one to go. I'm locking you guys in. Yeah. You do know I can just turn them the other way around, right? <laughs> oh, forgot you used to live here. <laughs> I mean, I could do anything. I'm a chameleon. Huh? I'm old. <laughs> I'm tired. Huh? I am hot. I'm cold. Huh? Come on, what can't I do? First of all, bravo. Uh, but I really don't think you're right for this. The part calls for a stuffy college professor. I can do that. Hello, I'm your professor. But I'm not busy thinking of important things or professing. I like to use... Oh, what's the product? Software that facilitates inter-business networking e-solutions. <laughs> I'm cold. It has to go perfectly because if she doesn't like something about us, she can keep us off every adoption list in the state. Hey, maybe I should stop by. She could be a soap opera fan. It's very impressive when the little people know a celebrity. <laughs> little people? Celebrity. <laughs> so there's not a magazine under the couch or a pack of cigarettes taped to the back of the toilet tank or a filthy video in the VCR. <laughs> I'll admit to the cigarettes in the magazine, but that tape is not mine. Well, it isn't mine. Well, I guess we'll never know whose it is. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Anybody in there order a celebrity? Ow! <laughs> Why don't I show you the baby's room? <laughs> What the hell are you doing? 
Well, you wouldn't let me in, so I thought you were in trouble. Well, we're not. But you called me Bert. <laughs> That's our code word for danger. What's the baby's room? Uh, what room should we see next? Any room that isn't behind this couch. <laughs> I did not care for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have got some nerve coming back here. <laughs> I can't believe you never called me. Excuse me? Oh, uh, yeah. Probably don't even remember my name. It's Joey, by the way. And don't bother telling me yours because I totally remember it, lady. Yeah, I waited weeks for you to call me. I gave you my number. You never called me. No, no, don't try to turn this around on me, okay? I am not some kind of social work, okay, that you could just do. <laughs> well, maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry. No, no, hey, well, no, too late for apologies, okay? <laughs> you broke my heart. You know how many women I had to sleep with to get over you? <laughs> I waited a long time. I can't wait anymore. Oh, no. We made this decision together. She's putting words in your mouth. Don't you put words in people's mouths. You put turkey in people's mouths. <laughs> Ooh. We'll say that we were mugged. You can't get mad at someone who's been mugged. Oh, good. That's good. But yeah. you don't look like you were mugged. No. Uh, here. Listen, guys, we feel really terrible. He's doing that weird eye contact thing. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Come on, you guys. We want you to know we're very, very sorry. My friend Sarah had a great time last night. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to call this one back? <laughs> no. But what are you talking about? Sarah's great. Oh, really? You don't know what your great friend did? We are out to dinner. Okay, we were getting along, having a really nice time. I was thinking she was really cool. And then, out of nowhere... People take food off of my plate, okay? But you just said what's mine is yours. Well, I didn't mean it! <laughs> hey, I mean, there are things you do and, you know, things that you, that you don't do. <laughs> now, this all better be here when I come back. Yeah, of course. I can control myself. <laughs> yeah. Stop staring at me. <laughs> well, just a tiny little. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. <laughs> hey? Oh, Joey, uh, were you in our room last night? No? I was told the name of the movie would not appear on the bill. Here's a copy of your bill. Oh, thanks. Mm. Champagne, strawberries. Oh, my God. I can't believe Chandler ordered porn on our wedding night. Yeah, that's sad. Meshuganat? Hey. hey, Joey, what would you do if someone that you slept with told you that she was pregnant? Who called here? Did she sound blonde? Oh. Huh? Did, did, did she have an accent? 
I gotta make a call. Should have never walked into that sunglass hut. Uh, Monica, it's Joey. Listen, uh, Phoebe and I smell gas coming from your apartment. What? Are you serious? Joey smells gas. What else is new? <laughs> yeah, and we'd go check it out, but you took away our keys. Well, do something. Get in there. How? Uh, I, I guess I could break down your door. Yeah, do that. A and you won't blame us for any damage? No. <laughs> Are you doing it? I don't hear anything. Come on. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll break it down. <laughs> okay, how are you doing it? Breaking down the door. Yeah, I know, but hey, in my defense, I, I just found out that condoms are only like 97% effective. What? I gotta go find her. Oh, hey, oh, hold on. Are you serious? So you just like 3% of the time, they don't even work? Huh? They should put that on the box. Evidently, they do. What? Well, I'll be. I still don't get why Greg and Ginny would give us a fake number. You know, if they knew what they were doing, they probably didn't give you real names either. Okay. Maybe people give out fake numbers, but they don't give out fake names. Oh, yeah? Hi, Ken Adams. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Regina Falange. What are you talking about? You use the Europe story. That's the magic story you use when you want to have sex. <laughs> story how do you know about that story i heard it from my friend irene who heard it from some guy some guy no no she told me that his name was ken adams ken adams hey you didn't dress up either yes i did i'm chandler <laughs> Dude, what happened? How is that me? Okay. <clears throat> I'm Chandler. Wow! Oh, you! <laughs> when have I ever done that? When have I ever done that? <laughs> Spudnik. Spudnik. Wow, I don't have the worst costume anymore. <laughs> hey, all right. Ross came as duty. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not duty. No, space duty. <laughs> okay, I'm Spudnik. You know, like Sputnik. What's a Sputnik duty, man? But Joey, I have to go. There's no room for a baby here. No room? It's a baby. It's like this big. <laughs> you, know, you, 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 you can put it over here. Or, or we can put it right here. Oh, it's cute, right? Oh, oh, oh. Put it over here. You wouldn't even notice it. Where's the baby? Oh, it's right over here. You're so sweet. Oh, my God. And you gave the baby hugsy. Uh... <laughs> that, that, that's really just to show where the baby would go. You know, why don't I hold on to him so there's no confusion? <laughs> Well, you have to be honest with her. Otherwise, you may think that you're going down the same path, but you're really going down different ones. I'm gonna take that book, and I'm gonna beat you to death with it. <laughs> so, you uh, nervous about getting married? <laughs> what are you doing? Look, let's pretend it's a real bachelor party, okay? You know, before your wedding. It'll be more fun. All right. I can't believe tomorrow's the big day. Well, how does it feel knowing you're never going to be with another woman again? Huh? Knowing you're going to have to wake up to the same face every day until you finally have the sweet release of death. Right. Okay, also, just so you know, I'm not going to make a turkey this year. What? Well, Phoebe doesn't eat turkey. Phoebe? Turkeys are beautiful, intelligent animals. No, they're not. They're ugly and stupid and delicious. <laughs> I mean, Thanksgiving with no turkey is like, like, Fourth of July with no apple pie. Or, or Friday with no two pizzas. 
All right, fine if it means that much to you, but just, there's going to be a ton left over. No, 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 they won't. I promise I will finish that turkey. All right, you're telling me you can eat almost an entire turkey in one sitting? That's right. Because I'm a Tribbiani. <laughs> this is what we do. I mean, we may not be great thinkers or, or world leaders. We don't read a lot or run very fast, but damn it, we can eat! <laughs> You've got to save room. You've got almost an entire turkey to eat. Let me explain to you how the human body works. <laughs> I have to warm up my stomach first. Eating chips is like stretching. <laughs> That's it? Even if nobody helps me, I can eat that, no problem. At least give me a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chandler's chicken. <laughs> this is the turkey. How big is that? It's about 19 pounds. It's like me when I was born. <sighs> you are my Everest. Joey, well, you don't have to finish that. Oh, yes, I do. Otherwise, what's next? You know, today I'm just a guy who can't finish a turkey, but tomorrow I'm the guy who eats half a power bar, wraps up the rest, and puts it in the fridge? No. No, I just... I just, I just got to change my pants. What was I thinking? Jeans have no give. <laughs> All right, where's that turkey? Jelly, those are my maternity pants. No, no, these are my Thanksgiving pants. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm done. Whew. Oh. Oh, here come the meat sweats. <laughs> Who did this to you? Bobby Corso. But he's a real nice guy. I like him a lot. He's real funny. You got pregnant for funny? <laughs> Dina, <laughs> if he's funny, laugh! <laughs> I'll be back in a little while. You stay here. Why, where you going? I can't look at you right now. <sighs> wow. I know. In my spare time, I uh, read to the blind. And I'm also a mento for kids. A mento? You know, a mento, a role model. A mento. Right. Like the candy? As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> Let's play bamboozled. Chandler, you'll go first. What is the capital of Colombia? Bogota. It's Bogota, but close enough. <laughs> Well, what's complicated? You spin the wheel of mayhem to go up the ladder of chance, you go past the mud hut through the rainbow ring to get to the golden monkey, you yank his tail, and boom, you're in Paradise Pond. Uh -uh. Yeah, all that's gone. Um, it's basically just a simple question and answer game now. Well, what's fun about that? <laughs> you expect me to be the host of a boring game with just people standing around answering questions? Well, there'll be women in bikinis holding up the scores. Let's play bamboozle! <laughs> Two, four, six, one million. Yep, you got them all. Man, this is bad. And I've had my share of bad reviews. I still remember my first good one, though. Everything else in this production of Our Town was simply terrible. Joey Tribbiani was abysmal. What, is he right? Am I really, am I oh, awful? Good. No. No. Oh, oh, hey, God. hey, Monica, you listen to me, okay? And I'm not just saying this because I'm your friend. I'm saying it because it's the truth. Your food is abysmal. <laughs> Boom! I better get to my movie. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know, if I'm going to the movie and you're going to the movie, why don't we just go together? <laughs> uh, how's that for data reconfiguration, huh, Jim? I think I know who you're talking about. Oh, yay! Great! Okay, what room number is he in? I'm sorry. Patient information is confidential. No, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother him or anything. We were talking earlier. Ma'am, and... I'm sorry. That information is restricted to hospital staff. Uh, she's with me, Dr. Drake Ramore. Dr. Drake who? Ramore. It's Portuguese. <laughs> we need that information. I'm a doctor. A doctor at this hospital? Damn it, woman, we're losing precious time. <laughs> now, do you want this man's blood on your head? Hands. Hands. <laughs> it is absolutely essential that you tell me what room the man my assistant described is staying in. He's a patient of mine. I've been treating him for years. He's in room 816. 816. Thank you. Thank you. And what is his name? No. Hi. 
I'm Dr. Drake Ramora. I have a few routine questions I need to ask you. Really, I've been dealing with Dr. Wells. I know, but I'm a neurologist, and just to be on the safe side, Dr. Wells wanted a more comprehensive overview of your status, so he sent me. <laughs> Dr. Wells is a woman. That was a test. Good response. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, uh, full name? Clifford Burnett. Date of birth? November 16th, 1968. Age? Can't you figure that out based on my date of birth? I'm a doctor, Cliff, not a mathematician. I'm 33. Okay. I thought I knew who the enemy was, but it was you all along. Okay, this is it. You led them right That's my big fight scene coming up. Go ahead. Try it again. I'm fighting for every man. Hey! Sleeping Beauty! Where have you been? I tried to call you. I want to talk to you. I still feel so bad. Oh, no. Were you upset? Did you lose sleep? You don't owe me anything. I don't